Hello. Uh, felt like making another video. Um, last night I had a uh, very powerful dream. Kind of. Um, it uh, was uh, alarming, to say the least. Um, I've been having a lot of weird dreams, very powerful dreams in the last few months. I've made two videos about dreams. I made one about a two or three months ago, I believe, two months, three months, and then I made one recently about a few weeks ago. Anyway, I've been occasionally the last few months I've been having uh, uh, very powerful dreams. I would say apocalyptic type dreams. Um, so last night I had a dream of, uh, I'm not sure if it was, uh, asteroids or a comet, but it was falling from the sky. Um, I don't know if it was an asteroid or a comet. I know meteorites are smaller, obviously, than comets and, uh, asteroids. But anyway, in the dream I was, um... was high above the earth I could basically see the earth from space I was like in space pretty much you could say I didn't see the stars or anything I just saw the earth and they what I believe to be I guess it was an asteroid um, could have been a comet I don't know but let's say asteroid one hit the Gulf of Mexico and the other hit the Atlantic Ocean so in the dream I saw I was really high up out, up, in the, uh, up in the sky up in space I could see the continents I could see the United States I could see South America I could see the Atlantic Ocean And one asteroid hit in the Gulf of Mexico, and um, there's a huge explosion. There's a massive wave, like a massive tsunami, going spreading out, and it hit uh, Mexico, the southern states, all the southern states, like I guess Texas, uh, Louisiana. Florida, all those southern states, um, Central America, the wave roll, and uh, the, the, I see the ocean spreading out, and hitting also South America, like I guess Colombia, Venezuela, and then the other one hit in the Atlantic Ocean, and uh, the East Coast. From Maine to Florida was, um, I would say, about a hundred miles inland. It was all water. So where that land was before, it was just water. I could see like the whole um, east coast, and it was I could see from Maine down to Florida, all. 100 mile inland going all up the coast was the land was gone it was water <clears throat> and the wave it was um, it's kind of like when you drop a pebble in a in a pool or a, whatever in water and it just spreads out so the wave it, it just kept spreading out and it went down into the Caribbean and it also spread out towards um Europe, I guess where Ireland is, and the England, that area, and then uh, towards the bottom was going towards uh, <coughs> Africa. This is what I saw was I was up in the sky. I was in, uh, I was uh, high up in the sky. I could see like the earth. And I could see the continents. So it was a very powerful dream. I woke up. I was. Um, I felt anxiety. 
had a lot of anxiety and uh, made myself a chamomile tea to come, you know, to relax, whatever. I'm like I said, I'm not a. Uh, I made it. I ref I said in past videos, I'm not a um, dream interpreter. You know, even though that dream is pretty much um, straight to the point, but uh, I, like I'm not a prophet or a uh, you know nothing like that. I just. I've been having these weird, these uh, very powerful apocalyptic type dreams for the last few months. And um, I'm Christian, I, uh, the Lord and Savior is Jesus Christ. And um, I know it says in the Bible that people will have visions and dreams, especially towards the, um, the end times. I believe we are in the end times. Um, you know, I believe we could be possibly entering into this uh, into the tribulation period. You know, um, but regardless, we always have to stand firm in the Lord because this life is temporary anyway, and our true life begins uh, when we have eternal life with our Lord. In the meantime, when we're here, we try to um, bring souls to the Lord. Get people to repent, you know, accept Jesus Christ in their life. Jesus Christ, his Hebrew name is Yeshua HaMashiach. And uh, that's my dream. So I like sharing it. I don't know, I hope it doesn't happen, honestly. You know, I don't know who wants something like that to happen. I, I hope it's. Uh, it's just a dream, maybe. It's just a dream, you know. Maybe it's. Uh... <coughs> I've had dreams in the past of, uh, you know, very powerful. Some of my dreams have come true. You know, for example, I've had dreams where um, I go through an event, like uh, I meet someone, I like a friend, and I meet them at a certain place, and I'm talking to them, and I'm hanging out, whatever. And then, uh, in reality, in real life, like a week later, a few days later, I meet the person exactly where I saw him in the dream, or um, let's say, um, I don't know, just certain dreams that I've had that have come true. You know, things I've had, or I've, I've run, uh, people that I see in my dream, I run into in real life. Uh, let's, you know, someone I haven't seen in a long time, I dream about them, and then a week or two later, for a couple of weeks later, I'll see them. Um, my mother, she has very, my mother has very powerful dreams. Now, her dreams are more, I would say, my mother's had dreams of people in the family dying, and a week or two later, they're dead. <laughs> Uh, you know, she's had dreams people have had having accidents or things, all these type of things happening. And uh, they come true. So it's very scary, you know, uh, her dreams. Um, but, you know, I'm just making this video because, like I said, the last few months I've been having these apocalyptic type dreams. I'm not sure if it's due to any um, outside stimulation. As far as maybe movies I've seen or videos I've seen on YouTube or uh, whatever, but like I said, um, it says like it says in the Bible, people have dreams and visions and uh, times. So it felt like sharing that dream. I pray that it uh, absolutely does not come true because uh, that would be horrific. For people to uh, die that way, but uh, there's some things. Obviously, there's a lot of things that are beyond our control, especially when it comes to nature. We can't control whether a uh, asteroid or a comet hits the Earth. We can't control, you know, certain natural events. 
even though there is weather modification taking place across the earth, you know, with chemtrails and stuff like that. But um, other than that, there's a lot of things that are beyond our control. We just have to have faith in God and um, live life uh, being positive and trying to help one another be peaceful towards one another and show each other love because the world is full of too much hatred too much uh, you, mean you just turn on the news there's you know rumors of war everywhere every time you turn on the news something's happening whether it be Iran or Syria or Russia or China they, you know I mean you don't know you got like, there's economic problems all over the place you know, so everyone's living uh, with a lot of tension and fear and um you got to be very strong with your walk with God and uh, within yourself as well. And just, you know, come to the realization that we're not here forever. So uh, that's my video. I hope everyone takes care.